We are in, and I've seen 60 mile an hour or higher wind gusts. Watch this. You know how people sky dive, they jump out of the plane, they go? Watch this. I'm gonna walk down here. Woo! It is so heavy. Now, as we come this way, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see that ocean water blowing from that corner. As it does, it comes all the way up. to there by the light excuse me you gotta pardon me it's hard to walk and stand but we're gonna give you a good live shot coming back down here the only thing hiding us from the wind when we started was that dumpster you gotta get behind like a big object that's sturdy to stay safe i'm gonna move down here though and show you that we've got a lot of debris and the waves have certainly gotten bigger in this obviously blowing down cones, bringing up seaweed. These signs, even with sandbags, have been blowing up and down. Another sharp object right here, a piece of wood with some nails. It's all coming up. Woo, and uh, we're, we're watching it carefully. There was a curfew instated at 8 p.m. Everybody's pretty much adhered to it. Also, sheriff's deputies knocking door to door because 12 condo buildings, the sheriff quoted, it's not an if, it's a when, will likely collapse. 22 buildings in the town over will likely collapse. Ian did such structural damage that now with this particular storm, it can happen anytime. They want people out. So he said the reason being, they do not want another surf side. If you know, you know, this is what we're looking at. It's pushing me back. You're gonna continue to see this water really, really moving up. And for now, guys, I'm gonna send it back to you. We'll talk with you in a little bit. That's Fox Weather Meteorologist Katie Garner in Daytona Beach.